Father, we ask that you just give healing, give comfort, give peace, give solace, and just help Echo find, find the way, Father. Find the way to you. This weekend is part of our diaconal formation. The intent of the weekend is to live within the homeless and have a better understanding of what they're going through. One of the beautiful things that I noticed is of the 42 men, 37 are, are Knights of Columbus. Being a Knight has definitely prepared me. If somebody needs help right away, the Knights are there to help the community. We're here on the streets, boots on the ground, and that's what the Knights are all about. If you look at the first deacons from Acts of the Apostles, they were charged with going out. The priest or the apostles were there to take care of the sacramental needs, and the deacons were to go out and take care of people that were away. The homeless aren't going to come to our parishes. You know, we need to go out and meet them and see where they need resources. For a deacon to truly, in his heart, be formed, he has to have experienced that poverty. Not just know about it in the head, but in the heart. They should have a natural inclination towards service. And you see that natural inclination in the nights. What I've seen in them is what it truly means to be a man of God. Understanding that the purpose of the nights was originally started to serve the widows of those that had died. A lot of these people are widows in a certain extent as well. So I see the Knights continuing that mission, but in a different meaning. I've learned a lot about what people go through, especially on the streets, and I've got a different perspective. We need to witness to Christ to everybody, old, young, rich, poor, whatever it is. We all need the gospel and, and to trust in God that he does love us, he will take care of us, he will provide for us. As a knight, I have learned to put the prayer into practice. And for me, that's what we need. That's what the world needs right now. The Knights of Columbus really gives you a foundation, a solid foundation to grow from. All the guys that I've met in the Knights of Columbus, they're wholesome guys. They're humble guys. They have an attitude of service, and that's contagious. And it's very impressionable on young people. It's a new manhood, the manhood of Christ. This is what being a deacon is, to me, looks like. It's just the total service of the other.